Hello loves and welcome to the in-depth practice of Sun Salutation A. This is brought to you by Shine Yoga and my name is Yogini Sol. I will meet you at the top of your mat in mountain pose. The reason why this is called a sun salutation is because in India, they only can do yoga early in the morning as the sun is rising. Because during the day, it's way too hot. So as a tradition, it is recommended to do the sun salutations in the morning. This is a very popular go-to vinyasa flow. Or again, for the people that want to do yoga at home, this is a great go-to warm-up. Today we're doing version A of the sun salutation and this one is the easiest one out of all of them. Let's begin at mountain pose. At the top of our mat, feet hip distance apart. To know if your feet are hip distance apart, bring your toes towards the inside of your foot. Make sure your big toe is touching and then swivel your foot back. This is your hip distance apart. And for your upper body, I suggest you bend your elbows at a 90 degree angle open your palms up and release you'll notice that your chest opens up that your back activates and this is your perfect posture inhale lifting your arms up towards the sky exhale swan diving down both your hands anchored into the earth inhale plank exhale knees down chest down inhale upward facing dog or cobra Exhale, tucking the toes, downward dog. Inhale, walking your feet up to the top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, release. And inhale all the way up. From here, putting your palms together, exhale, heart center. One about these sun salutations is that if you need extra support, you can use any surface like a chair or a bench and do it on to that. So inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky, slight back bend. Exhale, hands onto the chair. Step back, plank. Exhale, arms down into an upward facing dog. Walking your feet closer to the bench, lifting your chest up towards the sky and your chin up as well. On your exhale, pushing into the hands, downward dog. We're not moving the feet, we're just letting the head hang in between the arms. From here, we let go of the bench. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. And inhale back up all the way up. And then back to heart center. We're going to go through every variation one by one, starting with mountain pose. When we are here, when we're reaching up towards the sky, you don't have to go all the way up. You can stay here and just take a big inhale. If you want an extra challenge, you can lift your arms up towards the sky. And if you want a deeper challenge, then you add the back bend. But all of these are options. You have to go with your own level of comfort. Beautiful. After we're swan diving forward, here we're pressing the hands into the earth and stepping back. In our plank, the variations that we can choose is bringing the knees down. That release tension all over the body. Allows it to be easier to engage the abs and to allow you to release the shoulders back. If this is too much, bring it into a tabletop. You will get there progressively and that's okay. Beautiful. From here, we're allowing ourselves to bring our knees down, our chest down and our chin down. A more advanced version of this would be in full plank and this is called chaturanga knees chest chin and sliding up again we're going step by step from here we have cobra you can leave it here into full cobra or even bring it down onto your forearms again yoga is about listening to your own knees and following your breath as long as your moves are synchronized to your breath, you are doing yoga. From here, if you want an extra challenge, you bring it up or you bring it onto 
the tops of your feet. From here, going into downward facing dog. We're tucking the toes in, bringing the head in between the arms, and the variations here is to bend the knees. Allow your knees to bend and allow your heels to come towards the earth. If this is putting too much pressure on your wrist, you can come into dolphin pose onto your forearm. Again, the most important thing about yoga is to listen to your own needs and to your body. After this, for the last variation, you can either walk your feet to the top of the mat or jump. Let me show you what jumping looks like. From here, you'll look up in between your arms, you bend your knees and jump up into your halfway lift. All right, we're all done. Those are all the variations for Sun Salutation A. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this inspires you to start your own practice at home.